Those pink waves off the coast of Torrey Pines Natural Reserve are part of a study exploring the physics of coastal dynamics. Researchers from Scripps Institution of Oceanography are tracking the fate of freshwater in this estuary as it journeys out to the ocean. Will that plume of water push through the surf or will it get stuck? You've talked a lot about how these estuaries connect the land to the ocean. They're bringing in the sediments, the nutrients, but also the contaminants. What are you, what's your hypothesis? What do you think you're gonna see from this experiment? So based on prior research, we have some expectation that the waves can actually trap the plume inside the surf zone, and then the only place for it to go is up and down the coastline. If the estuary outflow is confined to the coast, it can impact marine life and humans. All the things that are being carried in the water, like pollutants or larvae or sediment, is also gonna be trapped with it. And so, for example, pollutants, that means that it's gonna be in the location where humans are most directly in contact. To follow the freshwater outflow, the researchers temporarily color it pink using a fluorescent rhodamine dye. This dye has been approved for use in water tracing studies across a broad variety of both environmental as well as drinking water studies. It's been approved by EPA, OSHA, FDA, all the different agencies. The team tracks the dye from land, by sea, and by air, using fluorometer sensors in the water and on jet skis, and a drone up above with a hyperspectral camera. We can look at swaths of water and say, at this given location, there is this concentration of fresh water um, in the surf zone or outside of the surf zone, which is the fresh water that's left the estuary. Maybe this is your next study, but if in fact the water is being trapped at the coastline, is there anything that can be done about that? You can know something about sediment and where you might need to move sand around. It can also be important for pollution, so maybe we can better predict, rather than just saying beaches are closed for 72 hours following a rainfall event, maybe we can say, well, the beaches to the north of these outlets are closed, or to the south, depending upon the wave conditions. It's really exciting to me to be able to bring together scientists to look at this interface. There's a lot of people who study the surf zone. There's a lot of people who study estuaries, but not where they all meet. 